were you nervous to live, live up to the first record? You must have been. That no, sort of meteoric success. Not, not until actually we were like we we took our break and we went in to make the record and then we started doing interviews for the record and everybody was saying, you know, are you nervous? Because and we're like, no, but now I think we're starting to feel a little nervous. Yeah, and then a the more pressure. interviews we do, yeah, the more pressure we would feel. And, right. And so then we said, all right, we quit. And then. Uh, <laughs> And then we talked ourselves out of it and went and did it anyway and moved on. Now, how long have you been together as a group? It's going on about five years About now. five yeah, years. And, what, and how did you meet? Were you just like all playing in local bands and you got well, together? Yeah, I, I was with Paul and Brian <coughs> for uh, like three years, years before, before that. Yeah, yeah. In, in a local band back in Florida. And then that band broke up and we started this band and you know, went right in the studio right away with this band. So. Yeah. And how'd you get the name? Uh, we made it up. Yeah. You did? We, yeah, we, yeah. You know, we have so many great stories that when we started off, like, we would make up these great stories about Adam's dad or Paul's dad being a crop duster and, you know, or being, like, on the Punxsutawney, the Punxsutawney midget basketball team. And, <laughs> and all this, and, and people would buy it. They would just eat it up. But it wasn't, but none of it was true. And after a while, we just, you know, it's just, well, it's, you have to get this whole explanation. So yeah. we just tell the truth, right? You didn't, like, have a fascination with Matchbox cars when no. you were no, little. No, it actually has nothing to do with Matchbox yeah, cars. Yeah, and, and we, have to, we have to make sure that Matchbox knows that. It has yeah. nothing to do with Matchbox They know cars. it, but we, of course, gave away free matchboxes come do it here. Yeah. We'll take any tie-in, you know. Legally, but legally, nothing legally they have nothing to do with yes, the matchbox nothing people. At all. Thank you. Yeah, but they're probably thrilled that you they named oh, you, you so. named it that, I, I can so. imagine. Yeah. You know, brand new band. It's after your toy car. Um, now, the Santana song was so great. It was huge. It was huge. Wow, I can't believe it. Now, were you nervous? He calls you up and goes, yeah. hey, Rob, want to sing on my record? Yeah, I didn't think I'd actually ever meet the guy, you know? Because yeah. like, I, I met him, I almost met him a year before. We were in Germany at a festival, and he was at the same festival. And yeah. I, like, killed myself to get across the stage. And, and by the time I got there, he was already gone. I'm like, I'm never going to meet this guy. And then, like, it must have been two, three weeks ago, you know, flash forward, it's a couple years later. And, right. And this 16-year-old girl, she, well, I say 16, I'm so bad at ages, she's probably like 12. And she comes up to me and she goes, she goes, are, are you Santana? And I was oh. like, wow, we've come full circle. Here. Exactly. Yeah, we the, the loop. Who was the little kid from where we had, they said Paul McCartney, yeah, he used to be in a band called Wings. Called Wings. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, that's how you know you're getting yeah, old. You know? yeah. Now, who's sick? You're real sick? What do you got? What, you got a note for me? Oh, jeez, <laughs> let's see, what does it say? Hi, Rosie. I really did have a lot to say. <laughs> Your whole voice is gone. No background oh, wow. vocals, nothing. No. Oh, boy. I had that for the